Okay, I'll talk about a few things. But first off, sorry for being shirtless, but hopefully you'll be able to see this. Alright, down here at the bottom. There we go. It is 93.2 degrees up here. So I've got basically three fans blowing. A lot of the water. Okay, um, first off, um, recently there was a, a small event here in my town, Mitchell City. I guess I shouldn't say town when it has city in the name of it, but oh well. Um, it was called the Ride to Recovery, and what it is, is it's a bike ride that um, raises awareness and money and support of wounded veterans. Approximately 200 riders, and I'm going to put the link to the little website down there in the, in the um, info box thingy. Um, but they came here, and I was sadly disappointed. Not at the riders, but at the community. My dad, my sister, and me, we rode down there. Um, my sister served in the military, um, in the Army National Guard, um, Iowa, and Indiana. Uh, she didn't serve in combat or go overseas or anything, you know. Just served her time and got out. Um, and for those of you who don't know, I did 10 years in the Army and the, and the National Guard. Um, I served tour duty in Saudi Arabia in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom and Enduring Freedom. Um, I did not serve in direct combat. But anyway. But we rode down there, and there maybe five people there. Okay, I didn't hear about anybody that were lining the streets and waving to them, supporting them, or anything. Um, and I didn't get the chance to go down there to see them off. I did drive down there, and I met up with them, and you know, I shot a short little video as I drove past them, and then I pulled off the side of the road out there and waved at him and wished him a safe trip. Um, you know, sorry about the music from the neighbors. I don't, I, I hate to say it this way, but I don't care about your viewpoints about the war in Afghanistan or the war in Iraq or any other war. Um, men and women joined the military and agreed to put their very lives down to die for freedom and for their duty and their for and their for and for their commitment. Um, regardless of whether you support any military action, these men and women will go do horrible things that leave them mentally scarred for the rest of their lives. Can die, can receive gravest injuries, minor injuries. For people like me, just a year of their lives away from their family and, and everything. Um, I believe that that trait should be encouraged, should be rewarded. Um, and it, it, it is kind of a mixed feeling with me because I'm not, I'm one of the people that I don't believe you should be thanked for doing what you're supposed to do. Okay? So, you know, it's not like a big heart-wrenching thing that people come up to me and say, thank you for my service, because I'm supposed to do that, in my opinion, anyway. But it feels good, you know. It makes it worthwhile a little bit more. And for these people, and they rode from Soldier Field, Chicago, Illinois, to I'm not really sure where right now, in Detroit, to Detroit, Michigan. Um, it was almost, I think, 57 miles from the start and from Soldier Field to Blue Chip Casino here in Michigan City that they rode. Um, and granted, yeah, they probably didn't ride it all in one stretch, and I know they didn't because you can look at their itinerary, but still, you know, riding that far, even with occasional stops, is still a pretty decent feat. I I can't do it. I mean, I'm pretty sure I, if, you know, I had to to survive, I probably could, but... You know, 
mean, these people are, you know, taking time off of work or whatever. Um, some of them were disabled themselves. And they had to ride recumbents because they didn't have legs. And they had to pedal with their arms. You know, but these people did this to raise awareness and support for wounded veterans. Some of which were wounded so badly that they can't do anything. You know? And I just think it's a shame that we as a city failed them. You know? And at the end of this, I'm going to put the video of them leaving. Um, sorry about the bad, bad um, camera angles, but I was driving. I know I probably shouldn't do that, but oh well. Anyway, um, second thing I want to talk about is this whole... Uh, Miley Cyrus thing at the Video Music Awards about how horrible it was and everything. First off, it's pretty normal behavior for former Disney stars, okay? So, you know, wow. Secondly, and this is probably going to get a lot of uh, backlash, but if you don't like it, don't watch it. I didn't watch it. I mean, I understand the fact that you don't, you might not know, um, and if you want to see what she did, just Google it or something, um, look it up on YouTube, it's there, that's where I found it, you know, you don't know something like that's going to happen, but as soon as you see it, turn it off, um, I'm really getting annoyed by this whole, you know, everybody should be responsible for what I watch other than myself. Okay? It just, I don't get it. You should be responsible for what you watch. Um, if you, if your child wants to watch something like that, and you're not sure what's going to happen, um, most people have, you know, some sort of video recording device hooked up to their TV, record it, watch it, then tell them whether they can watch it or not. Um, um, my preacher, um, he actually tells me he watches a lot of movies that he doesn't want to watch simply because he's going to watch them before his children see them. You know? And that's, that's how it should be. You know? And again, I understand the whole live thing and all that, but, you know, you, you should be responsible about what you watch. Um, now, kind of on the same subject, but not, um, I am not a big fan of 90% of the music made after, like, 85, so, you know, not that it's offensive to me or anything, I just don't get it, I don't like a lot of what somebody once called, um, 220 music, they have two lines and they repeat it 20 times. Um, I'm not a big fan of the hip-hop music today. Um, pretty much most music. But I'm not going to tell anyone that they can't record it. Um, that I can't remember the guy. Robin Thicke. That's, I've never heard about this guy before. That song he did in, in the whole performance thing. I don't like it. And it, even more irritating, it's got one of those little beats to it that kind of sticks in your head, you know. Um, I'm not going to tell him you can't play it. I might tell him I like it. I might tell him it sucks, lame, or whatever. But I'm not. I'm never, ever going to say he can't play his music, because if I tell him he can't play his music, then I can't play mine. You know, um, and that is the double-edged sword of freedom. Okay, the freedom that gives you the right to do what you want gives somebody else the right to do what they want. Um, and to me, it's hypocritical to say I can do what I want, but you can't. You know, I mean, I don't, like, for one, perfect example, the Klan, KKK, Ku Klux Klan. I don't agree with anything they say. I don't agree with almost anything they do, the exception of the whole Adopt the Highway thing, which I thought, I gotta say this real quick. Um, I can't remember where it is. I think it's Alabama. I'm not really sure. But the Ku Klux Klan adopted a stretch of highway to clean up. And you go get the little sign, you know, litter cleanup sponsored by the KKK for the next one mile or whatever it is. The state then decided to change the name of that highway to the Rosa Parks Highway. 
I think that's hilarious. But, you know, um, so anyway, so I don't agree with what they say, but I will die to defend their right to say it. Okay? Plain and simple. Because if I tell them they can't speak on their beliefs, then I can't speak on my beliefs. And that's just wrong, in my opinion. Um, it might be wrong. I might think what you're saying is wrong, but I can't tell you you can't say it. I can tell you you shouldn't say it. You might want to say it someplace else. Don't say it to me. But I'm not going to tell you you can't say it. Okay, to me, can't is one of the most horrible words in the English language, by the way, or any language. Um, so, it, you know, take responsibility for yourself. You know? So, that's pretty much all I got. Um, talk to you later. 2013 Ride to Recovery Riders leaving Michigan City on their way to Detroit, Michigan.